stop struggling with PvP in Escape from Tarkov. Hey everyone, I'm Cisco, and I mostly stream Escape from Tarkov with over 4,000 hours of active gameplay. One of the big questions that I normally get from my community is, Cisco, how do I get better at PvP? So to help answer that question, I decided to start a series with Escape from Tarkov where I take my actual clips and explain my thinking process while I'm in the middle of some PvP encounters. What you'll get from this series is being able to peel back the curtain and see inside my brain and hopefully apply some of the elements that I've used inside my gameplay to your game. Before we get started, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. Okay? Love y'all. Let's go! Maybe we catch someone coming right here. Yeah. Is that you shooting? Mm. Oh, fuck it, fuck it. We will fuck you down. Here. So really the first element of PvP is gathering information. So the information that I had was I was being shot from the construction side of Crack House. And if you could hear in the video, there was footsteps and then they were actually talking. They were voiping and they were using their characters to talk. All of that stuff combined gives me information to let me know how many people there are. So essentially I was able to determine there was three people. Now a rule of thumb that I use is whatever number I think there is, I always add one. So I think there was three, so I add one more, so there's actually four. It's just an easy way for me to make sure that I clear my corners, I clear the building, and I don't start looting before all of the threats are neutralized. I hear them, they're inside. They're coming upstairs right now. That's me, that's me. I just came right Ooh, that lag was bad. Yeah, that, that's door. me, upstairs. Yeah, they're outside. Oh, oh damn. Where I'm stuck in this stupid medical room. Don't peek out there. They're outside the door right now. Come with me. In here, in here, in here. At this point, I understand that they'd probably know where we're sitting at and we're in a really dangerous spot. So I close the door and rotate us to another room where I can start to make my flanks and start to make my rotations. All right, I'm going to push outside here and see if I can't. One's down. Nice. Stay in? Yeah, stay in. The other guy was out front. You okay? Oh, no, I'm dead. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I hit him 126. This is where a little bit of map knowledge comes into play. The room that I rotated me and my duo to, I knew that I could jump on the box and rotate back outside and not be trapped into a singular room. When it comes to PvP, we talk about a lot of map knowledge, game sense, but that comes with experience. So you have to play the game and you have to understand some of these rotation points. In Crack House, this is one of the most notorious ones. You never want to position yourself in a room where you can't get back out of. In this particular scenario, I positioned us in this room. I stem up and I pre-med. I jump out the window and neutralize one of the targets. Now one's down, I make the call out. Unfortunately, my duo was neutralized, but he made the call out to let me know where he was at. I know the general area of where he was at, but I still need to gather more information if I wanted to make a push back inside Crack House. So I try to use grenades to get myself some more information. So I throw the first grenade. It wasn't that great. I rotate to the backside. I pull the grenade. I pull the pin, just trying to get some movement to figure out where this guy's at. So one of the ways that I could figure out where this guy was at was positioning myself to see what happens when the door opens and door closes. You've seen in the video that two different times I closed the door and he opened the door. 
the last time that I closed the door and he opened it, I was waiting to see if what side of the hallway he was going to be on. So I know that once he closes the door, he's rotating back to the left side in the medical room. So that's where I come around and I'm able to throw a grenade inside that actual room and neutralize that target as well. Where are you at? Where, would, where did you die at? I died in that room. The room I told you to stay in? Yes. He hit hard. So a few other things in that last little clip that I did was when I rotated to the back side of Crack House to put that grenade inside that medical room where I thought he was going to rotate back to, I made sure to close that door because remember, I still know there's other targets available somewhere there. So instead of having to clear that corner, I just closed that door, pulled the pin through the grenade. And I also knew that that grenade was going to make a lot of noise. So at that point, I threw the grenade and I made the decision that I was going to push. So I masked my running and the metal stairs with the grenade going off as well. So if that grenade wouldn't have killed him, I would have been able to rotate straight in and been able to have that fight as well. And he wouldn't have known that I was rotating up. So I'm back in the room where my teammate was neutralized and I'm still gathering information to figure out where the rest of their team is at. So I hear wood and I see the blue laser on the door. If you've caught that, now you're starting to understand the information process that I try to give myself an advantage when it comes to PvP. So I jump right back out the window and now I know where this guy's at. He's in that first room when you come up the stairs where the intelligence folders spawn. If he's holding an angle by that door, then he's going to be on that far window right where my gun is aiming. I just wait for him to put himself in a position. I shoot and I just make sure to neutralize. So at that point, I thought I may have killed him, but I wasn't sure. So I'll make a decision that I'm going to go ahead and rotate, push up because I know where he's at. and He's trapped in a room. So I push up the stairs and yep, another guy down. That's three. That there, that there, that there. Load up the grenades. That there. There. Yeah, we'll just leave all this stuff as is. The way I can get this other shit over here. I had rotated back outside to the front of the building where I was actually tossing some of my gear and tossing my duo's gear that had been neutralized earlier in the fight. At that point, I heard some bushes rustling and a little bit of noise being made that was kind of far away. I made the assumption that bush that was being hit was the one that's normally hit that's on the back side of Crack House that's over to the right side of the building. So I rotate back around and give myself some cover. Then I decide to try to put a grenade deep knowing that if there's a person in that bush waiting for me to come out, the, the grenade will be able to kill him. If not, the grenade will be so deep that he'll have to push forward towards me. So I make the assumption that he's going to push forward, and I rotate around the left side of that building. There he is. I just neutralize, and that's the format. If you can take away three things from this video, the three things that I want you to remember are the three most crucial steps to improving your ability the PvP and escape from Tarkov. So number one is map IQ and general game sense. Learn the maps, learn where the rooms are at, learn the rotations. Number two is information gathering. Be patient, wait for your time to strike, gather as much information and use the tools that you have to your advantage. Toss a grenade so you can get someone to pop out, take, a, take some shots, get people to move, do whatever you can with whatever you have on you to get that information. And number three, you sit, you die. Flank or rotate. Thanks, guys.